Hey, I'm Iggy Pop. You're watching Enemy.com. I'm in Beni Kasim, España. It's probably about uh, half twelve in the morning. Uh, the first half was uh, slightly more diffuse than I prefer, and that was all technical, having to do with sound, monitors, uh, distance from the completely herded and cowed audience, you know, that sort of thing. It's something I'm doing this year, uh, honestly, to to bring a little breath of fresh air on these occasions. I mean, we really did notice it, it, it's, it's, uh, you know, it, it would, it, at, at times it has been an invasion, but usually it's just, it's an invitation. It's a stage invitation, and uh, I think it's, uh, it's interesting and fun on some level, and uh, it, it's particularly enjoyable. Uh, because most most of it takes place during the song "No Fun." People know it, and they and they sing along so well. For uh, depending on the occasion, for tonight, you're dealing with a, a Latin country, and uh, we didn't. We didn't emphasize our new album during the preceding year here. We didn't, we didn't do any magazine or TV interviews as we had in Britain. Uh, we, it wasn't around. So I limited us to the, the one which has been most widely disseminated and, and is the, the catchiest. And uh, we know about seven of them well. Put, we have put up to five in any given set, but when it's a festival like this, I wanted to stick with things that we know how to perform very, very well. There, there are some of the songs that I've been figuring out how to perform for, well, let's see, since 1969. Uh, what year is it? 2007? Would that be 38 years? I've got a handle on it by now. <laughs> Whereas uh, there are even some of the others from Skull Ring. We only did, I think, one from Skull Ring tonight. Uh, and I, it took me a couple of years to get on top of that. And there's another one we do that took an extra year and we didn't do that for a while. So that's what you do. You, you, you try, to, try to give it a sense of occasion, remember where you are, but not to not to totally uh, totally ignore what time it is. When you're on when I'm on stage, as we've gone along, we've been doing this almost five years now. Huh? And we've gotten to the point where I'm having the at times the thrill of hearing your band sound very fucking good. That basic thing that you always wanted since you were 12 and you heard something on the radio or Big Brother's record player and you went, holy shit, oh my god, oh my god, and you had all those feelings that the range of, you know, so or not the there is a there are is a great range of feelings that, that, that a human being uh, has in reaction to music but when it's group music which tends to be rock music not always or band music or rock and music or hippity hop and music whatever it is then then uh, there's many a slip between the tricks the cup and the lip and it takes years or never happens for some people. And, uh, so that's a thrill, especially because now there are monitors. Two, three years in, there were no monitors. I never heard it. I only listened back later. There are a little, we, we, pre, we predate video, we predate pop, popular coverage of these events. The little bit that there is, when I hear it back, I go, oh my God, if I'd only known we sounded this good, I never would have quit. <laughs> Not sound 
this good when we started in 2003 at Coachella. We've uh, gained a lot of consistency. It's a roller coaster, dude. I have problem. I have the same problems of a man half <laughs> my age, and that helps. And uh, I have a fair amount of uh, something I want to say, which helps. But the real, the real thing is the them over in that room, and that's where I get the. I wouldn't be able to sustain the way I've usually been able to otherwise without a very strong group, and that's the difference because. I don't have to hype myself or drug myself or say to myself before the thing get through it or, or look at the reward system. I have this, it's tight, it's specific, it's compact and pretty powerful. I didn't know there had been much comment. I'm sorry about that. Um, Gee, I don't know what was it. One in the morning when, when I, uh, when I, when I lived, it was that was a that was a common phrase. That was that was what I learned from English people during the times I lived here, and uh, and that that is terrible. Mo, mo fool me, shame on me. Not not good. Working live through uh, through mid September and uh, with with a few exceptions, I'm going to take about a six month break from the group. And uh, yeah, we've it, the last two years I've been I've been full on full metal jacket, like like the proverbial guy thirty, you know. And and I need a break. I do recognize my advantage, my age. Uh, I'm a little overdue. So be, the way things worked out, suddenly uh, we were writing our album, then we were touring, then we were making our album, and then we were promoting our album, then we were touring again, and suddenly it's been two years straight. So I'm going to take a little break. Ron and Scott will be writing, I think, in a, some sort of place in Detroit, and we'll pick it up from there. So not, other than that, we're we're consistently inundated with a, a slew of uh, every bizarre and ridiculous form of attention and invitation that you can imagine that comes with uh, the entertainment industry, of which the music biz is but a small arm. My understanding that Elijah's been cast as the, the he's attached to one project, which is a biopic of my life. And the Stooges are in it. There is a competing project at this point, which is a Stooges movie, and uh, they're talking. The, the only the only person attached that I know of firmly right now is the director. Penelope Spheris, decline and fall of this, that, and the other thing, and uh, uh, biopsies of, I don't know, whatever dead rock star she's working on. Who knows if, if either of them, right now, neither of them have permission to get made. I would like them both, frankly, I wish they'd both fuck off, leave us alone, and make their picks. <laughs> But it probably, it, it may not work out that way. There are a lot of politics in these sort of things. And, uh, I, I, at, at the present time, in general, I've been throwing my lot in with the group. But as I said, uh, right now, we don't have an agreement. We don't have agreements with anybody. If you'd like to make <laughs> the story to. of my life, I won't sue you. 